Good day, welcome to Daily News Update on Flip TV. My name is Peace Oladbo. President Bola Tonumbu has assured Nigerians that his administration is focused on delivering tangible results and making a positive difference in making the nation's infrastructure, food and energy security, education and long-term economic stability. At a meeting with the Forum of the former presiding officers of the National Assembly, led by Senator Ken Namani, the president emphasized that he is not in the office for personal gain, but to serve the country. He said, I did not come to look for money and exploit this situation. I came to work. I asked for votes and Nigerians gave them to me, the president, who was a former senator, told the meeting after a session of banters and handshakes with former parliamentary colleagues. The meeting was attended by 16 former presiding officers, including former Senate presidents, former speakers of House of Representatives, former deputy Senate president, and former deputy speakers of House of Representatives. The president acknowledged the support and encouragement from forum members, irrespective of party affiliation, and implored them to continue fostering unity and to achieve national development goals. Reflecting on the complex nature of legislative activities, constitutional reviews, and nation-building processes, the president expressed confidence that Nigeria can progress through collaborations and inclusiveness, regardless of party differences of the past and difficulty of the present. You still believe in me and what we plan for this country. I thank you very much. No one will do is better than us. I have traveled the world and seen how developed countries have done it for themselves, though collaborations, inclusiveness, and financial structure. Yes, there is hardship, but how do we get here? What did we do when we had very high crude production? We neglected our communities. We neglected the goose that lays the golden eggs. We forgot even to give them a good standard of living. We forgot to educate our children. Go around and look at the dilapidated schools. The education environment must be decent enough for pupils to learn. We can complain from now till eternity that school enrollment is low. But did we do anything to encourage the enrollment process? We must ask ourselves because it is a matter of conscience, he said. The president outlined his administration focused on addressing these challenges, including improving infrastructure, ensuring compliance with financial regulations, exploring alternative energy sources, and providing energy security. We have come a long way, and I must, and I promise we must do our best, he said. He urged the former presiding officers to continue sharing their wealth of experience in nation building and governance, noting that they were on they were uniquely positioned to provide clear interpretations of where we are to Nigerians. Senator Namani, who spoke on behalf of the delegation, expressed full support for President Tunubu's administration and its efforts to address Nigeria's pressing challenges. He noted that the meeting was the president's first official engagement with the group since his assumption of office. Namani congratulated the president. Mr. President's history has never been a burden of one man alone, but some are called to meet a special share of its challenges, though not of the creation. It has fallen onto you to end the pervasive insecurities across the nation, the economic downturn that has resulted in hunger and anger, infrastructural decay due to years of neglect and myriads of other national challenges. As difficult as these problems are, we believe that with your experience, you can face the difficulties and surmount them. He added that the group has seen what elite complacency has caused nations and has resolved to unite across all divides to render whether assistance is made to be called upon to contribute to nation building and ensuring enduring prosperity for our citizens. Namani also commended the president for his trust in appointing some of their members to critical national positions, recognizing their vital role in nation building. That's all on news update. My name is Peace Oladipo. Thank you.